I'm Robert Lawrence Kuhn, and here's what I'm watching on New China's 75th anniversary. China's science and technology is the foundation of the country's development. Innovation is the first of President Xi Jinping's new development concepts, China's overarching developmental guidelines. Innovation is called the soul of a nation's progress and the inexhaustible driving force for a country's prosperity. From strong science and technology comes strong industries, strong economy, and strong countries. China aims to become a global major artificial intelligence innovation hub by 2030 and a powerhouse in science and technology by 2050. To China, indigenous innovation, science and technology self-reliance, keeping, as they say, the lifeline of science and technology firmly in our own hands is the foundation of prosperity and the key to security. In 2021, the total number of research and development R&D personnel was 5.72 million person years, ranking first in the world. The number of high-tech enterprises increased from 49,000 in 2012 to 330,000 in 2021, a 5.7-fold increase. In 2021, the number of highly cited papers was 42,920, ranking second, accounting for almost 25% of the world. In 2022, China granted almost 800,000 patents, more than double that of the U.S. and nearly half of all global patents. In 2024, 26 regions in China entered the top 100 global technology clusters, including four among the top 10 in the world, Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Guangzhou second, Beijing third, Shanghai, Suzhou fifth, and Nanjing ninth. In 2023, R&D investment exceeded 3.3 trillion yuan, over 450 billion US dollars, an increase of 8.1% over the previous year and second in the world. China achieved breakthroughs in quantum technology, integrated circuits, artificial intelligence, biomedicine, and new energy. The world's first fourth generation nuclear power plant was put into operation and the C919 large aircraft achieved commercial operation. New energy vehicles, lithium batteries, and photovoltaic modules saw stunning growth in exports, though triggering backlash as certain countries imposed tariffs. According to a 2023 index measuring countries' innovative research in 128 cutting-edge fields of science, China now ranks second, behind only the U.S., well ahead of all other countries. For the 11 broad scientific research areas, China ranks first in five areas, whereas the U.S. ranks first in six areas. While some Chinese experts caution against hyping Chinese achievements, others cite China's Tiangong-2 space lab, Chang'e 6 retrieving rocks from the moon's far side, Jialong deep sea manned submersible, 500-meter radio telescope, supercomputers, quantum information, and artificial intelligence as evidence of China's technological prowess. Surely, scientific and technological innovation not only enhances China's competitiveness in traditional industries, but also injects impetus for developing new quality productive forces. In telling the true story of China's science and technology achievements, credit must be given to the TORCH program, initiated in 1988 by the then director of the State Science and Technology Commission, Dr. Song Jian, and approved by the CPC Central Committee and the State Council to develop high technology nationally, creating more than 50 state-level science and technology industry parks. Science drives China's new era development, and it is revered by China's leaders, who make special efforts to recognize and reward leading scientists. But to realize its potential, science in China must encourage critical thinking and creativity. 
the former to challenge conventional wisdom, accepted norms, and senior authorities, and the latter to develop new ideas, technologies, products, and services. But critical thinking and creativity can be disruptive, and in a society that prioritizes political stability and values gradual change, any disruption can be challenging. We also cannot duck the dark side. Scientific fraud, fabrication, and plagiarism must be extirpated. Finally, we address geopolitical realities as it affects China science and technology. Given increasing multifaceted competition between China and the U.S. with moves and counter moves, the U.S. imposed high-tech sanctions against China limiting its access to advanced technology in semiconductors, quantum computing, and AI. Nonetheless, China states it will share its contributions with the world for the common good of humanity. This reflects, China says, the high ideals of Chinese civilization. I'm Keeping Watch. I'm Robert Lawrence Kuhn.